What are you doing here, little shade? Are you lost? Did someone leave you behind? Where did you come from? Oh! Now that I'm closer, I see you're newly deceased. You don't have a home yet, do you? You're very lucky that I found you then. There are demons about who'd love a fresh, tasty soul to munch on. The fresher the better for those types. Raw souls considered a delicacy. Join my household and be under my protection, little shade. You'll be safe and cozy in my home where you can forget about the outside so long as you remain sweet and obedient. You can do that for me, can't you? You look like a sweet one, as sweet as a pastry. Now that you've shed your mortal body, you don't really need food nor sleep, as you subsist by passively absorbing ether. However, you still need shelter and security. It is possible, but rare for a shade to successfully find or build shelter without pledging to a devil. Unlike demons, we devils have no taste for consuming souls, no matter how ripe and juicy. For us, souls exist to be servants and pets. And, I admit, status symbols. Really, it's the best for both parties. If you ask my other pets, they'll tell you that I'm one of the best devil masters around. I love spoiling my pets, as there's nothing better than coming home after a long week of doing devil's work and being tended to by my lovely souls who are eager to please me for a bit of attention. It's your choice, of course, my little shade. You don't have to come with me. I understand that some souls prefer freedom over security. Really, I respect that. Perhaps they are even happy, although they generally don't last more than a few decades and only that long if they are cunning and lucky. Most get caught in their first week. You'll consider it, won't you? I'll be back in this area in a few days, so you have time to think on it if you're not sure. I am worried, though. I'm worried that you won't still be here when I return. The demon who runs this territory is not strong enough to keep other demons out. When he is not here, the weaker demons come and go as they please and hunt without fear of retaliation. Let's face it. The reality is that a shade like you is no match even for a baby demon. There's no respite. Your best bet for survival on your own is hiding somewhere they can't reach you. Someone as fresh as you, well, you stink of life. I have no doubt that even now, a few demons have your scent, but my presence is keeping them at bay. Look over there, little shade. You see those trees rustling? There are at least two creatures in the undergrowth. Maybe you are lucky in their older shades. Sometimes older shades will take in the young ones if they have enough resources. Do you really want to take that chance, though? They're just as likely to run you out of their territory for fear of attracting demonic attention. And there is a slim chance these creatures are even shades at all. Come with me, and no other creature will harm you. As a devil, I am strong even among other devils. Demons fear me, and devils respect me. Nobody dares threaten my pets. You need only stay on my good side, and all will be well. When was the last time you had comforts? When was the last time you could truly rest? Even though you no longer need sleep, I can see that you are tired. Your light is dim, little shade. Come, I will protect you and give you what you are missing. 
Such a cute little thing like you. It would be a shame to let the demons get you. Yes, my dear little shade. Right here in my arms. Your hesitation was understandable, but you will see that you made the right choice. You may relax now. I'll carry you home, and my other pets will welcome you. You no longer have any worries besides pleasing me. And you will learn, my dear little shade. You will learn exactly what I like, and we will both be happy. <laughs>